Here is the 2010 to 2015 Hyundai Tucson. Before we get started though, let me give a quick shout out to Naya Motors Inc. for letting us use the car today to film the videos. They are a used car dealer here in Ottawa, Canada. Check out the link in description for their entire inventory. Now before you do anything, make sure the car is on level flat ground. Okay, solid level flat ground, not on an angle, not on an incline and not on like loose sand or un uneven surface, it has to be on level flat ground. Now if you're going to be changing on the rear left tire, make sure you put a rock or something on front of the front right tire so diagonally opposite tire so if you're doing the rear right then you put something from the front left if you were working on the front right tire then something behind the rear left and the front left tire then something behind the rear right so diagonally opposite now go ahead open up the lift gate and if you have a trunk liner like this just get the trunk liner out of the way now lift up the carpet and pull it and let's just fold it and get it out of the way this gives you access to the spare tire and the tools first let's just get the jack out so for that twist it left to lower the jack and that's going to loosen it and now let's get the jack out of there right, just grab it and out it comes now let's get the tool set there should be two tools in this let's get this out now twist this left this cover just twist it left and get the first one off repeat the process with the second one the second one is kind of long so it's going to take a few seconds to completely get it off now get those two pieces off and lift up the spare tire and get it out of the car if your car has a wheel lock then get the wheel lock set it's usually over there or it's going to be in the center console or in the glove box the key for the wheel lock get the key for the wheel lock if you don't have this key you can't really do anything so it's important that you find this so get the key lock key on and try to align it twist it around once it drops in it should not twist anymore now get the wrench tool and what we'll do is we'll loosen the lug nuts first we're not going to take them off right now we're just going to loosen them we're going to break them just break it loose align it the way i'm showing over here and then use all your body weight just push down on it okay if you're not able to turn it with even all your body weight i'm going to show you a different way just get on the wrench itself and then use your body weight to sort of jump on it and repeat this process for all five of the lug nuts there okay one two three four and five it looks kind of sketchy but that's just what you have to do if you have to get a lug nut loose and it just doesn't come off and if it comes off too loose just sort of twist it right you don't want to get the lug nut off completely you just want to try to break it loose so just get on it get it loose you may have to use a combination of jumping on it and then putting a body weight or you may have to do this twice but it'll come off now get the jack in position just twist it right first just using your fingers raise it up and get it in position now you see that ridge on the frame yep right there the jack should rest on it gap in the ga jack over there let's just get a closer look right there that's what it should look like it's important it looks like this get the hook tool put the hook tool in first now get the wrench tool it has a, a hole in it that aligns up right there with the hook tool properly get it in there and start turning it to raise the vehicle now when you're doing this keep an eye on the jack make sure it's not twisting turning make sure it's not like there's nothing wrong with it if you do not feel comfortable doing this do not do it wait for roadside assistance okay make sure the jack is not being bent everything is good and don't get any body parts under the vehicle when you're doing this you don't want to have any accidents over here get the wrench tool and now you should be able to easily just get all the five lug nuts off get them off and keep them somewhere safe but before you get the last one off let's just stop right there get it off partially try moving the wheel it should come off like hold it at six o'clock and nine o'clock and try twisting it if that doesn't work either just do this kick on the rubber part the kick on the tire one solid kick and that's gonna get it loose and then get the fifth lug nut off this way the lug nut just keeps the wheel from just falling off once you get the lug nut off you should be able to get the the tire wheel off and get it out of the way get the spare tire on and let it and let's put it back on once it's in place get all the five lug nuts and just get them on and hand tighten them one two three 
four and five now you lose the wrench tool to just tighten this up we're not going to do the final tightening right now we're just trying to snug it so use the wrench tool and tighten it as much as you can right now and do it in a star pattern like just the way i'm showing so do one skip the next one then do one then skip the next one and so on and so forth now let's lower the jack all the way down and now we'll do the final tightening just place the tool the way i'm showing it and now we have to twist it right so use all your body weight and do the tightening again in a star pattern so that's one just notice how i'm doing it one and then skip one and the second one there right so tighten it as much as you can so one two three four and five in a star pattern tighten them all use all your body weight and keep in mind that this tire is only rated for a speed for 80 kilometers or 50 miles an hour don't go any faster than that and make sure you inflate it to 60 psi now if you're not sure just drive it slow to a local gas station and check the tire pressure over there first before driving any further if you have a tire pressure gauge like this one use that to check the pressure now see this looks like it's pretty okay but when we check the pressure we'll find out that it's nowhere close to 60 psi this is 17.5 psi a long way off from 60. so if you have a portable air compressor one that looks like this it's very simple it works off of the 12 volt outlet in your car one end goes in there the second end is going to go on the tire and they all have a tire pressure gauge on it too so put it in the 12 volt outlet in the car put the key in accessory turn the air compressor on Now, if it's taking too long, and if you don't want to run the battery down, just go in the car and just turn the car on. Just turn the engine on. And that's also going to speed up the air compressor. Keep an eye on it. Let it go all the way up to 60 PSI. Once it's there, just stop. Take this off. Put the black cap back on. Don't forget to get the V-lock key off and put it somewhere safe. And that is pretty much it. Hope you found it useful.